Okay, so in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about some recent news, how Andre Cashman just caused some massive, massive pump action for sure. Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back, welcome back. As you guys know, we do talk about some interesting things here, okay? But we're actually gonna be doing a update so we can go over the things that's been happening in the XDC space over the past couple of hours. But before we get into that, please hit us with a like because that's how we get our message out there. And as well, subscribe because we focus on utility cryptos and we have a flavor, a flavor for Zenfin, okay? But look at this. Look at this. It is glorious times. Glorious times. As you guys know, of course, we've been in a downward channel, as you see, as you see. But the bulls have been waiting. The bulls have been waiting. Of course, as you guys know, Zenfin has a recent MLS sponsorship with DC United. Obviously, you're kind of like, well, well, where's the price action, Ted? Where's the price action? You even got haters in the community. As you guys see right here, even in February, a week into February, it was even more bearish action that came out. But as you see here, there was some recent information from our guy, Andre. He hit us with some news that came out right here around the perfect time, the perfect time that the Bulls were sitting out there. Of course, as you guys know, Andre Cashman being a uh, advisor over on Zenfin, working with Swift before already, um, being one of the chairs over with the team. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the DNI initiative. Uh, so pretty much, if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, XDC is going to revolutionize trade finance in a real way. I'm not talking about you know, oh, I heard of XDC, yeah, cool project. No, this is real real i mean we're changing uk law and we're actually going to be talking about that we're going to be perusing and seeing how exactly the uk feels about this new change but look at this he he tweets this out there's one thing about a specific layer one blockchain achieves that no other blockchain can specific layer one who might he be talking about xdc you will all discover soon and be able to engage march 22 will be remembered by trade finance bankers thanks to tf TFD initiative, trade tech stack, talking about utility, there you go. Of course, as you guys see here, uh, utility theory, he was on it. He was like, Andre, you are the trade finance MVP of the year. And this guy, I mean, yeah, give him a uh, uh, a follow and stuff over on his uh, Twitter and his uh, YouTube because he really does a thing for uh, utility. Now, also here, we uh, covered this a few months back. Please don't have to hesitate to uh, look through our library and see about this. But now we talked about the announcement. It was announced in uh, December, but now it's actually happening. So the years, the Euro stablecoin by Stasis will soon be available on the XDC network, guys. We're talking about XDC adopting a Euro stablecoin. Come on now, as we're seeing the uncertainties happening and, as, and CBDCs are becoming more and more popular Huh? Now we're actually going to be seeing real, real use case coming about and stable coins are going to be more and more important. So XDC Network adopts Euro stable coin years into its decentralized trade finance ecosystem. Huh? The ecosystem, just to give you guys a little bit of a background, the announced uh, Zenfin announced a partnership with the Euro stable coin, the largest, largest Euro backed digital asset, the largest. OK, we're talking about when it comes down to reserves. And this is another another stable coin that has fully backed. It is fiat reserves, mind you. But you get what I'm saying. If I can just go down the list, go down the list for why you should be bullish on XDC. Yours, euro backed, 100 percent backed, I'm sure, for their reserves. U.S. Nota already there for their their backed uh, 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 fiat reserves. OK, so you get what I'm saying. And then also check out Kinesis, gold and silver backed. So you see what I'm saying? The year stablecoin integration marks the first of many plans that the XDC network has to cultivate a diverse stablecoin ecosystem. Guys, prepare yourself. Zen fam, prepare yourself. This stablecoin ecosystem is coming. Get bullish. And that's the best part about it is I, I showed y'all the bears were waiting. They were or the bulls were waiting, waiting to snap this stuff up. So, guys, I'm telling you, this stuff is going to heat up quick. All time highs might be coming. You know, if you want to drag your feet and listen to this channel, I've been telling y'all dollar cost average. It recently partnered with Trade Tech, a technology and software provider for the trade finance industry. I've been telling y'all Trade Tech secret sauce over there for the XD for XDC. You know, together, the pair aims to launch the world's first stablecoin backed by a basket of tangible and well-established trade finance instruments. Guys, come on with it. So, yeah, of course, I'll leave you guys a link for that. Now, this one came over from the guy Utility Theory. He put this one out there. This is uh, more so about MLETRs. Now, I want you guys to think about this with all this recent price action. 
and the uh, connection that Andre Cashman is is bringing together with uh, the recent law changes with the UK. And uh, I mean, if you've been paying attention with the ICC, a lot of things have been coming together about that. And if you've been listening to this channel, we stress about how trade finance is such an antiquated profession. They really don't want to move away from paper documents. Obviously, they don't want to uh, uh, disrupt the status quo. But obviously, that's what the CVD-19 pandemic really did is force everybody to really change how they were doing things. So look at this. I thought this was really interesting. Let's actually look and see what this lady Sarah Green was talking about, because you have to understand Singapore and the UK, once they clicked up, that's like trade finance, peanut butter and jelly. You get me? That's the whole globe because you understand their fingers are, are everywhere. They want to be top notch up front when it comes down to trade finance. So check this out, guys. Electronic documents and English law, the roadmap to digital trade uh, documents. If sustainability and blockchain aren't the biggest buzzwords in trade finance right now, it's M-L-E-T-R. I want you guys to just understand that it's model law on electronic transferable records. So just, just go through this a little bit just so you guys could uh, see. I, I enjoy how he, how she writes. To adopt paper documents electronically, it is necessary to be able to interoperate with different entities. And to do this, a common language, a set of global trade standards are needed. So come on, aren't y'all seeing where we're going with this? A common language, a common language, ISO 222, a common language, a standard, digital documents, M-L-E-T-R, a law, one standard. However, there are workarounds and we've seen an incredible amount of progress thanks to the English Law Commission and the Digital Negotiation Instruments Act. From IOUs to trade documents, an overview of a 3,000 year old industry. You see what I'm saying? So guys, she goes off into that, uh, blah, blah, blah. But really, um, I, I wanted to show you this. Later on into that, that document, they asked the question, what are the issues with accepting electronic di documents under English law? They said, as a result of the shifts in the industry, the market participants demand for this type of document paired with as a result of the shifts in the industry, the market participants demand for this type of document, a digital one. Uh, paired with breakthroughs in technology that make it possible to replicate the possession aspect of paper documents in an electronic document. The English Law Commission is proposing legislative changes, and we'll talk about those. MLETR, the United Nations uh, Model Law on Electronic Transferable Records, appears to be a phenomenal overarching guide that enables each country to implement it in its own way. See what I'm saying? MLETR is huge, huge. The United Nations is behind it. Okay. This proposal revolves around the extension of the concept of possession so that under the right circumstances, both tangible and intangible trade documents can be used in trade. Come on. Also from the guy, I'm showing you guys this right here. This is a letter from the uh, Ministry of Justice of the UK, ITFA, coming right there. This is from there, the Ministry of Justice. Put this out. This is a letter saying, ending paper-based trade. They're with it. Okay, they're with it. The Honorable Robert Buckland. But basically, they're breaking it down right here. If you were to put DLT and uh, smart uh, contracts together, you have the XDC network. OK, how can we utilize that network now for trade finance? We put that towards the DNI initiative. You spearhead that thing through the ITFA. You see what I'm saying? That's where you have this thing going, guys. We're talking about utility for real. Share this thing out with anybody that's hating on XDC. Share this thing out with anybody who's hating on Zenfin because I'm show we're showing you guys utility constantly, constantly. And we're sponsored on MLS teams. You get what I'm saying? Look, man. So check this out to get even more bullish. Look at this. Uphold. They always know what's up. I want to take this time, even for my XRP holders, y'all know what's up. Uphold has been teasing, teasing when it comes down to what they're going to put out. They've been teasing about the uh, XRP price. They know where it's going to go. The fact that they they didn't get scared and, you know, uh, delist XRP, they've been holding it. And you can say what you want about Uphold. You know, I tell you, yeah, man, well, forget it. I can't withdraw. Well, consider this. They actually have. Uh, a really good trading platform, one. But if you actually want to use your crypto or something like that, they have a Visa. They have a, a, a Visa card over there and they give you cash back and XRP. You get what I'm saying? But look at this. Yesterday, we asked you what tokens you'd like to see added to Uphold Next. What do you think was the most requested token? XDC, Baby Doge, or DAG, Constellation. XDC. Y'all see that? 
48%. Let's go. Let's go. So to give you guys a little bit more of a perspective on this whole thing, UK agrees world's most comprehensive digital trade deal with Singapore. Where is Zenfin headed? Where are they based? Singapore. Exactly. So the International Trade uh, Secretary secures agreement in principle on a digital trade deal with Singapore. The digital economy agreement, the world's most comprehensive digital trade agreement will capitalize on our strengths as the world's second largest service exporter and leading digital hub. More opportunities for UK firms to target advanced tech savvy and rapidly expanding markets in Asia. Of course, Zenfin is all over that. Just to show you all, look, a third of our exports to our meaning UK our exports to Singapore are already digitally de uh, delivered, including in finance, advertising, and engineering. And this deal will create new opportunities to expand digital trade. Service companies will be the big winners from financial telecom giants like uh, Standard Charter, which works with uh, Ripple. But look, service companies, not DLT, but service companies. Obviously, Zenfin is serving here. So, guys, look, I just want to show you guys this digital trade is creating a new global economy, but it is still largely governed by old fashioned rules that predate the digital revolution of the past 20 years. I mean, seriously, if you've been listening to our channel, this is what we've been talking about. This is what we've been talking about. We're about the future here. If you're new, if you're new to this channel, we focus on futuristic blockchains, blockchain 3.0, and obviously blockchain 4.0 here with the XDC network. We have military grade for uh, 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 forensics. We obviously just had a, a massive upgrade with Andromeda. Please look into it. Go ahead and check out with Quincy. He'll talk with you about the development stuff. But look, guys. The, the the point of Lyft Capital is to show you guys the real the real news that's coming about with utility so you guys can actually sh see it's not a shot in the dark. It's not. It, again, if you've heard me say it, you'll hear me say it again. We are dealing with low risk, high reward, long term investments. OK, that will possibly benefit you and the generations to come. Clearly, I'm showing you guys where uh, listen. If you've been listening, I said a new digital age, a new global economy. That sounds like it's going to be around for a while. Get what I'm saying? So I'll leave you a link so you can look at that. Here's the next one. Accessing the impact of new English law on electronic trade documents. This is really interesting. Really interesting. OK, so just to show you this really quickly on April 30th, 2021, the Law Commission of England, Wales, published a consultation paper. That's what that lady or earlier, um, Sarah Green. Uh, that's how she was involved. So I want to show you guys this right here. How much how much of a game changer the new English law would be for the acceptance of electronic trade documents globally? Uh uh, the this person, Robert Parson, says the change in Singaporean law to adopt the MLETR was important, but a change in English law will inevitably have much wider worldwide implement implications. The UK government makes no no secret of its support of legal change in this area as a means of keeping the UK at the focal point of this growing technology innovation sector and ensuring that the key UK professional and financial service sectors continue to thrive. Backing a change in legislation by finding early parliamentary time for the new law to be passed would be a shrewd political move. So that's what they're saying. Clearly, they're they're moving fast. Parliament wants to move fast. This is a new law. They want to move fast. OK, they also asked. I'll move you guys forward here. Really, what I want to show was the end. What impact the enactment of the English legislation will have on other uh, jurisdictions? Look at this. The potential for English legislation in influencing other jurisdictions will be significant countries within the commonwealth some 54 the commonwealth some 54 countries would share with the uk a common legal background you get what i'm saying this is bigger than just the uk they're huge obviously they're huge with trade finance but everyone under the commonwealth you get what i'm saying interoperability network of networks it's like a common theme over here so yeah guys i'll definitely leave you a link for that 
Also as well, look at this. Shurcon partners with Inigio for sustainable cost effective end-to-end digitization of uh, trade documents. We're seeing more and more that's happening on the trade finance front. We see this partnership as crucial to the evolution of creating an industry standard for digital trade. That's what Lift Capital wants you guys to understand. You're early investing in creating an industry standard for digital trade. Huh? Just making it simple for y'all. That's it. That's it. Look, now this is another one to, to stay bullish on. Keep this in mind. So, of course, like we talked about with the ITFA, there's going to be a webinar, a webinar right there, March 22nd, adoption of MLETR, a legal perspective and world tour. OK, it's right there in front of your face, right there in front of your face. Huh? Now, this I thought was really interesting. New FinTech Task Force, Technology Exports uh, Experts for Regulatory Action, T-E-R-A, Task Force Approach. Look, look, Global Coordination, Technology export uh, Experts for Regulatory Action. Like they said, they, we're talking about legal expertise, suggested policy evolution. Remember we were talking about INATBA or uh, the INATBA? Yeah, it's basically the same thing right here for the ITFA for trade finance. OK, the trade finance industry has remained largely paper based and manual, and some of the laws that govern trade have not changed in decades. In some cases, centuries, the industry needs a reset to a more digital framework that accelerates operational processes and practices, makes them safer and more convenient for all the experts com uh comprising this committee will be taxed to work as a cross industry center for expertise galvanizing key ex aspects of the business that need to change collecting feedback from banks and fintechs around the world and working closely with banks guys you see the effort that's going into this you see that working with trade finance industries both with banks and fintechs let's go so lastly guys i want to show you this last one <laughs> Last one. I really appreciate you making it this far. Hold on with me. I want you to show this. This is the most important thing to see to remain bullish. This is from the UK Board of Trade. I want you guys to see this. This is the five goals that the UK actually has for digital trade. First, they want to secure access for British businesses to oversee digital markets. That, that means, understand, they're focusing all for themselves. OK, first, firstly, let's center ourselves, let's center biz, British businesses, and then we can be involved with working in overseas digital markets. OK, um, uh, the government will champion data flow inter internationally. So, of course, that sounds like Zenfin is just ripe right there, just just ready to be rewarded. Number three, the government will champion consumer benefits and necessary business safeguards in digital trade. So the ITFA is right there benefiting. DNI initiative right there benefiting. Get what I'm saying? Fourth, the government aims to develop digital trading systems based around common standards agreed with trading partners, cutting red tape and making trade cheaper and faster and more secure for businesses. Boom, that's what that task force is gonna be doing. You get what I'm saying? Working hand in hand. The government seeks, finally, to collaborate with international partners to shape global rules, norms, and standards. Guys, I'm telling you, what we're talking about here is going to be affecting us most likely for centuries. What I've shown you, I really hope, I really do hope at the end of this video that you feel blessed, but that you have a bullish feeling about XDC, about Zenfin. This is no joke. This isn't just some trash, some, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, you know, I will see. Clearly, as you guys see, laws are being changed. Things are happening, and we really hope that you guys are blessed by this channel. Life is for the taking. Please hit it with a like if we said anything funny, useful, or that can really benefit your future. And as well, subscribe because we stay on top of utility cryptos, guys. Seriously, it's where the future is, and this is where the real news is. But, of course, like y'all know, I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.